Hey guys, what's going on? Tyler here, and today we're talking about how to make a scroll to the top button in Elementor Free as well as Elementor Pro. Let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so like I said, today's video is going to be all about how to make that scroll to the top button. But before we jump into it, I do just want to mention if you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro at any time, I do have a link down below in the description. So be sure and check that out and see what kind of deal you can get there. Elementor Pro has just been an incredible plugin. I love all the various features that they have enabled in the Pro version and just there's so much to to build out and to use and to design in your website. So be sure and check that out down below in the description. And now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So I'm sure you've probably seen on some websites when you're scrolling through the page, you'll see a little button pop up and usually typically the bottom right hand corner where it says uh, to the top or, or return to the top or something like that, a little top button that you click it and it auto scrolls your whole page right back up to the top. That's essentially what we're gonna be creating in this tutorial is that little button. And I'm gonna show you some different variations of how you can kind of adjust it and tweak it and make it fit for your website. But the very best part of this whole tutorial is gonna be this is going to be mobile friendly as well. So it's going to be a very simple and quick tutorial, but a little bit in depth, so follow along closely. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have that scroll to the top button in no time. For those that are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really am trying to grow my YouTube channel, grow the fam right now, and we've got a lot of awesome people here that are helping and contributing in the comments and liking videos, so thank you guys so much. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and start the tutorial. All right, guys, so let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is just an example page that I've created right here. And as you scroll down, you'll see a little to the top button pop up right down here at the bottom right. And as you keep scrolling, it just stays there in the bottom right hand corner, no matter where you are on the page, as long as you've scrolled down a little bit. And then you can just simply click that and it will scroll you right back up to the top section of the page. So that's what we're gonna be making in this tutorial. And it's super, like I said, it's super easy to do if you just follow this tutorial. It is a little bit in depth, but just stick with this tutorial and you'll be able to make this in no time. So as we, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how I made this this one right here. So let's go ahead and just start editing this section right here. What you're going to want to do is go ahead, create your whole page out, build out exactly everything that you need on the page. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to go into the first section, the very top section of the page. And this could either be this section right here. If you're using Elementor Pro, you could even go ahead and edit the header. I'm not going to go over that right now, but you could go in and edit the header if you wanted that to be the very top. Um, but for this, we'll just go ahead and use this top section here. We're going to go ahead and click these six little dots where you would click and drag to move the section. We'll go ahead and click that to get into the settings here of this section. And we'll go ahead and go over to advanced. And then right in here, we need to edit the advanced tab under the advanced section here. And the CSS ID, we need to name something unique. For this example and tutorial, I'm just gonna name it top. So I went ahead and did that. I just typed in TOP there and hit enter or just kind of got out of that field and it's all set, ready to go right there. So now this whole section right here has the unique CSS or uh, styling code to get not get to get too technical here but um, the unique ID of top so that's pretty much how we set that there and then we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into how to set up the button now the button is very pretty simple to make all we're gonna do is let me go ahead and actually just delete this button here all we're gonna do is go ahead and create a new section at the very bottom of our page so we created a new section right here and then I'm just simply going to add a button so I will just click and drag this button right in here drop the button perfect it looks you know we style it whatever color we want anything like that what I did is I went into the icon library here and this might be only an Elementor Pro feature but um, you can find an icon in the free version. Um, I'm looking for chevron um, arrows and it's basically these like arrows that are just like a, an angle. Um, I'm gonna use the chevron up arrow and insert it there. And then I'm simply going to change the text to top. Let's capitalize everything so it looks a little cleaner. There we go, top. And then the link, 
All we're going to do is put a a uh, pound sign or a hashtag sign and then put the name of the CSS ID that we set for the top section. So in my case, I just named it top. Simply, I'm going to put hashtag top or pound top, just like that. And then to align the button, we simply just select, do we want it center, mid, middle, I'm sorry, left, center, or right? Um, let's go ahead and just keep it on the right there. That's kind of where you typically see these, and that's where I want mine there. So we'll go ahead and line that up. So that is good to go. We can actually just start using it just like this. If you don't want the button to be stay on the page or stick to the page, you can actually just use it just like this, and it will function the exact same way, just not scroll with the page. So um, let's go ahead and add it and make it sticky, make it stick to the to the window so it's it's move it's so when the page is moving behind it, it's staying in the same spot. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go over to advanced. Now there's two ways to do this. Um, you, typically we would go to motion effects and we would go to sticky and we could select bottom. And that way when we scroll, it will stick to the bottom. However, you notice when you get to the actual element, it sticks back to its location of where it is on the page and that's not exactly what we want so we're not going to do that you could switch it to top and it would stick to the top here so if we're scrolling down and you would see behind my head here it's actually sticking to the top of the page until it gets back to the element spot and it switches back so that's again not exactly what we're wanting um, if you want to do it that way you certainly can that's no big deal um, it might be kind of nice here if we switch it to bottom let's add a little bit of an offset here Again, this is just one option for you. You're scrolling, it only sticks there until it gets to the bottom of the page where the actual element resides. So your users are scrolling and there's it's not floating down here when they're in like the footer menu or anything like that. That's kind of nice, but for this example, we're not even gonna need that, so we'll just hit none there. So what we're going to do here is we will use scrolling effects. That is something that we'll use. Um, let's go ahead and just set this up before we get there. Um, let's go ahead and close that and go back to positioning here or go to positioning here. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to set the position to fixed. Now, whenever you set a fixed position on something, that means no matter where they're scrolling or anything like that, it is going to be locked on the window and not be moving anywhere. So we have it set to fixed. We're gonna go ahead and push it to the right here and push it to the bottom here. And so you can see when we pushed it to the right and when we pushed it to the bottom, it pops up right here and it is now fixed on the page. And congratulations, we've pretty much done that and uh, it, it is going to be right there. Um, so that is, if we actually go ahead and update this, you can see, and we refresh our preview over here, we can actually see that it is stuck to the bottom right of the page. No matter how wide the window is, it's gonna be stuck to that very bottom right corner. So that's exactly what we want. All we need to do next is just add a little bit of an offset, which means it's just like a little bit of a padding or margin around the edges. So let's go ahead and add just maybe like a, I think I went with like a 25 pixel padding, I think on the last one. So there's 25 pixels. Now you can see it's off the edge a little bit. Um, that looks really good. Everything should be working. It should be functioning just like we intend it to. Uh, what else do we need to add? Let's just add the final effect. Let's update it, make sure everything works before we do this. So we'll go ahead, that's refreshed. Okay, so we scroll down and we click the top button and it scrolls us right to the top. Just that easy, guys. If you have other you know, sections you wanna name, like maybe a middle section or something like that, you could definitely do that and then offset this a little bit higher. You, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless here, but for this example, we'll just leave it like that. It works well. Now we need that fancy little effect so it's not popping up right when we load the page. So we have this top section here. Obviously, if we click this, it's just gonna scroll to the top section. If we're right here and we click it, it's just gonna scroll back to the top section. So it's really gonna do nothing. So we don't necessarily need to display it right here. So let's go ahead and just make that little effect. So what we're gonna do is go back here. While this button is still selected, we'll go ahead and go back into motion effects here and go to scrolling effects. And then we're gonna want the transparency effect and we're going to want the direction to fade in and the level to be 10. So what we're going to do now, this is this percentage is where the scrolling effect is going to start, and this percentage is where the scrolling effect is going to stop. 
So what it's going to do is start on a scale of zero opacity up to a one opacity, meaning uh, not there, like completely transparent, all the way up to fully there and present. So basically it's going to fade over in, that's gonna fade in over that scrolling amount of time. So I'll just show you really quick. When we get to 20%, you can see now this button is starting to become visible here. As we keep scrolling, as we keep scrolling, and we get to 80% of the page scrolled, it's fully visible and that's how that works. What we're gonna do is just make this appear a lot faster so we need to shorten the amount of time that it's fading so we'll start this maybe like at 15 percent again if this doesn't isn't making any sense just follow along and just adjust these as you need them 15 percent and we'll bring this all the way into maybe like 20 percent so there's only about a five percent of the page that this will actually fade so now when we start scrolling you can see we're scrolling it's it fades in a lot quicker because there's now only a five percent section that it's that it's allotted for the fade so it fades in a lot quicker just like that and it's fading in there so what I noticed is we're already a little bit lower than I want it to be so I want it to be maybe like around here so let's just pull this over a little bit more so we'll go to 12 percent let's just go to like 11 percent and maybe 16 percent or we could even go less, maybe like 14%. Okay, there we go. So now when we scroll, it comes in a little bit sooner and it fades in a little bit faster, even faster, yeah, there we go. And uh, and it's ready to go now. We could even move it in just a little bit more. Let's move it maybe to 9% and like, oh, I don't know, maybe 11, 12%, something like that. So now, there we go. Just as we leave the top section, we are ready to go. And that button is visible and ready to go. It fades in a little too fast. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. So I'm at 9% and 13% now, in case you guys want to know what numbers I'm at. Perfect. So let's go ahead and update this, and I'll show you what it looks like. Again, that's the only difficult part of this, and you're pretty much done from here on out. So let me show you really quick what this looks like. We're here. Oops, it didn't reload. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and reload it. Perfect. So there's nothing here. You can't even see it. We start scrolling and it fades in just like that. And it is present there all the way down the page. And we get back to the top. There's nothing there because we don't need it there because we're at the top. And then as soon as we leave the top, it comes in and you can just simply click it and auto scroll back up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure and check those links out down below in the description if you're interested in Elementor Pro at any time. And please consider giving this video a like if it helped you. It really helps boost my video in the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure and smash that nice looking red subscribe button so you can join the fam and see future videos just like this one. Thank you guys and make today and this week, just make it all awesome.